Hello RC Modelers, thanks for joining me. Now I'm really excited because I've got a brand new set of upgraded wheels and tyres for small scale crawlers, so WPL, MM models. They look like they've got the potential to be really, really good. So let's check them out. Okay, so let's take a closer look at these wheels and tyres. Now, there isn't any brand name or model name for these, sadly. I picked them up off of eBay for about £11, including posters and packing. They are also available on AliExpress um, for around about the same price. I'm going to put links below in the description. Anyway, let's give you some specs. So the tyre itself is 70 millimetres in diameter. It's 25 millimetres wide. I'm going to put some pictures on the screen sh comparing these to um, the other MN and WPL wheels and tyres, just so you get an impression of, of how they, um, they compare against those. In terms of the compound, it's really nice and soft and sticky. I would say this is as soft, if not softer, than all those other tyres. So the original WPL, the MN90, the 96 tyres, it is really nice and soft. Um, the tread itself is deeper than all those other tyres. I've checked, um, I compared it to those and it's definitely deeper. So they're going to be really good at getting through those um, loose surfaces, so mud, sand, etc. Um, what I also like about these is they've got this really nice tyre wall tread. So like the MN tyres, which helps you if you're rubbing up against um, an obstacle. It just helps you get a, a little bit of traction if it, the wheel gets stuck between things. Um, also, these are foam filled. So you get a foam ring inside, which is a really, really good feature. I'm not aware of any other um, uh, tires and wheels for small scale crawlers that come with foams inside. Anyway, let's take a closer look at the wheels themselves. I'm really pleased to say that these are actually beadlock wheels. I thought they were just going to be a one piece plastic uh, wheel rim, but they're actually beadlocks. Now, for those of you who are quite new to the hobby and don't know, beadlocks are a big advantage because what they do is um, the tire bead is gripped by these the plates either side onto this metal ring and it stops the tire moving on the wheel hub um, to make sure that all the um, power is transferred um, through to the tyre surface to help you get over those obstacles. So a real um, positive thing with these wheels. Now um, they are all plastic which means they're quite light. I'm sure you could probably find a way to add some sort of weight to these. Um, there's various ways you can do it. Um, the wheel is also available in silver so if you didn't like the black you can get it in silver. What I would say is that this surface is quite a, a matte finish um, so I'm sure you'd be able to get paint key to that if you wanted to paint it without any problem at all. I do really like this um, this detail here. It's like a, a fake beadlock effect on the outside with these circles um, imitating um, the uh, the bolts that hold the um, the rims on. And I also like these uh, the the um, the fact that these screws um, that are functional, of course, but they also look like wheel nuts or wheel lugs, whatever you want to call them. So. Um, Really, really good. Uh, another um, good thing about these is that the, um, they're actually vented. So you can see there's a notch out here. And that means that the air can move in and out if you listen. So the advantage with that is that it allows the tyre to um, conform more easily over, over and around obstacles to give it more grip. Now there is a disadvantage in that water can get inside that and then degrade the tire foam. How, but it, you know, um, pros and cons to it. Uh, it's got a five mil wheel hex, as you would expect, so um, suitable for all these small scale crawlers. Um, but yeah, really, really impressed with these. Really, really impressed. Um, so anyway, let's get these fitted to a truck uh, or a few different trucks and see how they look.
Okay, now the only downside to these wheels and tyres is that they won't work with MN or WPL uh, wheels and tyres. Now, as you probably know, MN wheels have a um, the different side inner and outer uh, parts of the rim. So you have to use MN tyres with MN wheels. And with WPL, the rim size is actually smaller. So this is 35 millimetres in diameter, whereas this is smaller. So again, WPL tyres and wheels won't work with these. However, I have found a type of tyre that will work, and that is a Faye tyre. Now, for those of you who don't know, Faye make um, a few 1 scale trucks, 1 14th scale. Um, one is a Land Rover. They've got an army uh, truck of some sort, uh, and also like a pickup truck. Um, and these do actually work with these. Now they are still a little bit smaller. You can see there's a bit of a gap there, um, front and back, but the beadlock has attached to it. And these tires, if you get the, um, not the aftermarket ones, that you, which you buy um, just as a set of tires or wheels, um, the tires that come on the trucks are actually really nice and soft. So if you've got those tires, they're gonna work a treat with these. Well guys, I have to say, these wheels and tyres, in my opinion, are the best that you can get at the moment for small scale crawlers. They have got so many good features, the sort of features that you'd expect from a high quality one tenth scale crawler uh, wheel and tyre set. They are excellent and I can't recommend them enough. Now, this is, goes out to whoever makes these. Um, these are brilliant. But if you could make another new set, which are slightly wider, slightly taller, just a little bit, you know, same size as the MN90 tyre um, and a slightly deeper dish wheel. I would be interested in those and I bet you all out there would be as well. Anyway, guys, if you've liked this review, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you're interested in getting a set of these wheels and tyres, check out the link below. If you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing to the channel and hit that bell button so you don't miss my future videos. Anyway, guys, as always, take care of yourselves and keep crawling.